welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, and I'm Tony Green. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, it's just been just a little froggy all morning, um, and I've been working on it, but you know, it's morning, it's wet outside, all those things contribute to it. So today's show, I'm extremely excited about because I don't know, I just have this feeling about it. <laughs> um, I've been hearing songs all morning. So if any of these songs mean anything to you or anybody um, that may have passed on, uh, then these songs are for you and they're a confirmation. But one of them is Elvira. <laughs> Elvira. <laughs> Giddy up, a oom pop, a oom pop. I can't even, I can't even continue. <laughs> and the other one is uh, that Louis Capaldi song. Um, oh gosh, I, I now I can't remember the words to it, but all morning it was on a loop in my head. If there was something I could say before. Uh, I'll come back to that if I remember it. And then the last one, I can't even believe I'm going to try to sing this one, folks. I'm so, so sorry. But um, the last one is that song, Booty So Big, something, something, something. <laughs> and it, I think it says, work it like you do, work it. I don't even know that. I don't even know that I've ever even heard that whole song. Uh, or even heard that song like on the radio or Spotify or any of that. So if those songs mean something to you, that is something that is a sign or a confirmation for you, possibly from someone up above or something about your day. Oh, and there's this other song. Uh, and I, again, I have not heard this song since I was a, like a child, child. Um, you ain't woman enough to take my man. I don't even know who's got what going on out here. Um, but let me tell you something, folks, my take on that. You ain't woman enough to take my man. It doesn't take a full grown woman to take a man or a full grown man to take somebody else's woman. Actually, those are two children still playing. Um, here's my take on it. And it's a little different. I know. I'm not fighting over any piece of meat. Never. Mm -mm. I won't fight over a piece of beef, a piece of chicken, or a piece of man. Mm -mm. No way. Ain't happening. Somebody steps in, they think they can take anything I have, especially if it's a man. You better be playing for keeps because if he go by you, you keeping him. He's your problem now. I'm done with that. Mm, I don't play that. I don't share. I don't share my meat. <laughs> never, never, ever, <laughs> never. If I find out somebody else is biting on my drumstick, you can keep that drumstick. <laughs> oh, this show has just lost. <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can just feel people. <laughs> Hopefully y'all are laughing at this. I hope you are laughing at this. Okay. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. Today I will be taking questions. I will be taking questions from YouTube. I will be taking questions from the call log. If I call out your area code, please uh, give me your name where you're calling from, and I only need your first name. And then let me know what's your question or who do you want to connect to. A connection should be a specific person's name and their relationship to you, such as my mom, Judy. Hey, mama. Um, or, you know, my Uncle Bill. Hey, Uncle Bill. Whomever it is. Now, if you want, if you have a question, please make your question as specific as possible for me. That way we can get right into it and get you the best possible answer, okay? Uh, I want to say hi to my little brother, Stevie. St 
Stevie Oliva. Hey, he loves when I say his name on my show. <laughs> and, I, and I adore him. So I'll do it. Hey, Stevie. I hope you're having a good day. Um, okay. And oh, I will never reach out to anybody on any social media, any email, any anything for an appointment. If you want an appointment, you reach out to me. I do private sessions. We are either in person or over the phone. I also do corporate events and um, and parties and and guest appearances. Now, um, the best way to get a hold of me for any of that is via my website t o n i g dot i n f o. That's it. Here we go to callers. I'm going to take my very first caller. And my very first caller is 111. Hey, 111, how are you today? Hi, Tony. God bless you. My name is Wendy from California. Hi, Wendy. Hi, how can I help you? Well, Tony, I spent Social Security money, $2,577 on a beautiful desk. It's discontinued. and when it was delivered, the next day, I noticed that the top is lifting up, bowing up from the desk. It's still quite beautiful. I am negotiating back and forth with a lady named Ronnie, R-A-N-I, the manager. And she wanted to give me a measly 20% back. She will pick it up and give me all my money back, but I want to keep it. And I, she's saying 20%. I think 50% is more fair. Uh, if if she, will she give me more than 20% back and will I be glad I keep it or would it be a problem? Um, well, wow, that's, that's a bit, that's a lot of, okay. So here's what I'm getting, Wendy. Um, I'm going to tell you, I feel like you might get 25 or 30% back. It, how much of your life and energy do you want to put into this? Um, you have to decide how much of your life and energy is worth fighting over another five to 10%. I get it. It's a lot of money. I'm not minimizing your investment. I'm not minimizing your personal feelings about this, but at some point in our life, we have to say, I'm going to keep this and this is going to be it, or I'm going to return it, or this is the number I want. I don't know. Um, I don't know if they will go as high as 50% and what you will have to do. They would rather pick it up than give you 50% back. I'm going to tell you that. that. I don't feel like they're going to give you 50% back. I feel like the very highest they'll go is 30%, but it's going to take a lot of um, work. And I'm going to tell you, stop working. If you go above this woman's head, you have to go to the next person but you're restarting all over again with the negotiations. So just decide how much of your life and energy you want to put in, into this here. You will know how much is fair to get back. And I'm, I am so, so sorry that you are going through all of that. I hope that it resolves quickly and peacefully for you. And I'm going to go straight to YouTube because somebody on YouTube said they recently relocated to um to Pennsylvania and they want to know you know they used to go to the park and uh watch animals in their old location and meet up with people but now they're in a new location and they want to meet up with new people get to know new people and where's a good place to do that in Pennsylvania and what I'm hearing and it's really difficult right now it's more difficult now than it ever has been to meet new people. And part of the reason is because, um, because of everything going on. People are just a little standoffish and different areas of the world are completely different. Like, for example, I feel like if you were in Florida, for example, you would have a lot more luck. There would be a lot more people out and about talking, uh, not as, I don't want to use the word afraid, but afraid. Okay. Um, the West Coast and the East Coast right now are very different than the Midwest and South. South, Southern. Thank you. 
I am going to say one of the things I'm picking up for you for Pennsylvania. I don't know why this sounds so crazy to me, but I've learned to say what I hear, no matter how crazy it sounds. Pizza places, <laughs> like it's one slice pizza places where you just go in and you get a slice of pizza and coffee shops. I know some people really like to be outdoors and toward the warmer weather, that will be a better choice. But right now, um, the choice that they're giving me for you and on, on YouTube, your name is first name, last name. <laughs> I don't have your name, sorry. Um, is to go to pizza, pizza places and um, coffee shops and try a couple of different coffee shops until you meet, until you're at the one that feels right for you. And then as summer comes in, the park uh, idea will be able, maybe a lot better. I want to say hi to Fawn Bounds and did anybody else? I thought, oh, Heather, Heather, the random person, Heather checked in. Thank you guys all so much for joining me. If you are watching on YouTube, please say hi. If you have a question, please post it. I will try to get to it. And Fawn is asking, Do I see you move? When do you, when do I see you moving out of state? Um, who? That is a good question. Um, and you know what? The answer I get for that is that it's going to be up to you. You're going to have to. I hear get your ducks in a row, be strategic, and make. Um, like you have some things to finalize before you can even think of that. But I feel like in a month, some really good things are going to come in that are going to help this out. So whatever is going on right now in a month or within a month, you're going to get some information that's going to push this forward and help you uh, help you figure out where you're going to be and when you're going to be going there. I don't feel like you're going to be moving in a month. That seems fairly soon to me, but maybe it is a month. I do feel like there is, you have to be strategic and there's some finalizing of things you have to do before you can do that. Once those things are finalized, you'll be right on your way. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller and the next caller is 512. Whoopsie, hold on, 512. Sorry about that, 512. Um, Hi, good morning, Tony. This is Yvonne. I'm calling from Texas. Hey, how can I help you today? I was wondering if, um, I was wondering if you could, if you feel any feelings of a friend coming through that's on the other side. First name of Her the name is Jackie. Jackie. You know what, Yvonne, I have to tell you, I have to separate myself from this more than anything because I used to know a girl named Yvonne who actually moved to Texas and a girl named Jackie, and we all used to work together. And it's such a weird thing. Wow. That, yeah, it's crazy, crazy. Um, so I have to like really pull that out of my mind and get into... Um, get into this energy. So please be patient with me while I do it. Who? Mm -hmm. So Jack, Jack, the first thing Jackie wants to say, and I don't know if this is going to make sense to you, but um, it's been a long time since I, it's, it's actually a song. It's been a long time since I've seen you, my friend. Something, something, something till I see you again. And I'm not getting, and it goes, doo, 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 doo. And, and a lot of times, um, this is a song that comes through to let you know, uh, and from people on the other side to people here, to let you know they're, they're with you and they're thinking of you for whatever those lyrics mean to you. Now, the other thing I'm getting is that she is saying it was a, it was, um, She's using the term, it was a wild ride, but it was a good ride. Now, wild wi ride doesn't mean she had this wild, like crazy life. It could mean that. It could mean that. And I do feel like that she is um, now 
in a space where she knows and she is she's 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 saying like she's very she's at peace whatever happened in the end there whatever happened toward the end she's at peace she wants you to know she's at peace and she is uh wanting you to know that um she's doing better now she's doing better now she's doing better now she has to uh, uh, do some e evaluating, some evaluating, um, and then she will be moving up. And she's singing that, like uh, this, um, what is the name of that old show? Moving on up to the east side. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so she's um, oh. saying that. So she wants you to know that that's what she is doing but there there was there a complication in her end end of time was there a complication near the end of her time here because i'm hearing the word complication 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 and i feel like there was a, that i there was not a complication from her the time she passed to the time she went back home there was a complication right before she went back home. Now, I don't know if you were with her being a friend, but she's saying there was a complication or a complication that caused her to go back home. But whatever this is, this complication, uh, don't, don't, um, don't fret, don't stress. Everything happened as it was supposed to, even though it could have been easier even though it could have been better, it it uh, it went the way it went. It it went the way it went, and and then she says, and then I went the way I went. Um, she's very matter of fact and a little bit funny about it, and she is saying uh, she is having better luck over there than she did here. <laughs> Isn't that the case, though? <laughs> Isn't that always the case? Oh wow! So. I don't know. Yeah. Um, these messages should make sense to you, even if they don't make sense to me, because they're not meant for me. They're meant for you, Yvonne, and they're meant for you to be um, understand her end of life process is what she's saying. She wants you to, to understand her end of life process better and that it all happened exactly the way it was supposed to. And don't don't fret. Don't worry. It's going to, it, it, it all, it, like she's using the statement, like it all comes out in the wash or it all, like if there, if there was something, it will come out, but don't worry. Everything happened the way it was supposed to. Oh, I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that's helpful. Yes, it did. Oh, I understand. Yeah. I completely understand what your, your message was saying. Excellent. It was a little complicated. Um, it's really hard. I'm so sorry. She died of cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry. And that that is that can be long and painful and um, very very difficult to go through. And I'm so sorry that she had to go through it, and you, that her and that you and her family had to go through that also. But she's saying um, it's better than no notice here today, gone tomorrow sort of thing where nobody has the opportunity to say goodbye. At least everybody had the opportunity to say their final things that they wanted to say, if that makes sense to you. Yes, we were able to do that. Good, good, good. Okay, Yvonne, thank you so much for calling in. I look forward to talking with you again in the future. Um, until then, have okay, a Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. You are welcome. I'm going to start have some- Have a blessed day. Oh, you too. Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, I tend to like when I'm rounding up a call, I tend to like jump into the very next thing I'm going to do. And I, I, I'm so sorry. I cut people off from from saying their goodbyes to me. I, I apologize for that. I know that that's something I'm kind of trying to work on a little bit, but I feel like I only have this amount of time and I, I'm trying to get everything into it. Um, hey, Mimi. Um, and Fawn, you are welcome. Uh, Tennessee is test really strong for you. 
uh, make sure you're a little bit more rural. I can never say that word correctly. Rural than city, like at least on the very, the, the outskirts. Okay. I'm going to do our first healing and this is for um, relationships. Uh, we're bringing in our perfect partners. I get a no. So I'm going to clear that. And this is at about the 20 minute mark and I'm going to, Oh, excuse me. And I'm going to clear. Um, I'm also, I'm going to clear our perfect work or career or business is coming in for us. And I get a no. So we're going to start clearing and healing that. Okay. So whether you're looking for a job, you have a business, you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is, let's clear that to be the perfect work for you. Who we, who we, who we mama. Okay. I'm going to go to 610 next. 610. How Hello? are you today? Hi. Hello. Hi, Tony. How are you? I'm good. This is Tanya. How, how can I help you today? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Excellent. And how can I help you? I'm calling because um, I'm, I wanted to see as far as uh, work. Uh, I'm working right now, but I'm looking for another opportunity. And I have three potential things lined up, and it happened to be that I kind of heard back from them at the same time. And I'm moving along in the process. It's a little bit different. One of them, um, they reached out the first time and they want me to do like a video and answer some questions. I'm working on that. The other one, they already had a preliminary interview and it's some written questions I have to answer. And the other one I'm having on Friday is more like a, um, a video interview. So um, three different things, similar companies. Um, I wanted to see if you see an offer coming from all of them, any of them, or anything you're picking up. I feel like the thing I've heard since you said you had three opportunities, I hear the third one, the third one, the third one, the final, and now I'm hearing the final one. So whichever one would be considered the final one or the third one, that's the one you uh, want to go with. I feel like that's going to be the strongest and the most money for you. I feel like you're going to have the best luck for progression with this company also. Okay, Law? Okay, right. Because there's one, believe it or not, and I was shocked. There's one that's paying six figures. And I myself was impressed. So I don't know if that's the one you're picking up. I'm picking up the third one. Mm -hmm. Whichever one is the third one okay. is the best one. Now, that could be, and you have to use, don't be, I'm hearing, don't be scammed first and foremost. Um, but I'm also hearing um, to you, whether it's a third one you, you heard from or the third one you interview from, Okay. One she heard from no third one she interviews with yes it's a third one that you you are interviewing with um i believe that's the one that's going to bring you the best match for you okay i do believe that so please uh please uh know that and and go with that and I feel like that will be the strongest one for you. Okay, love? Okay. I mean, the third one, I do have an interview with him on Friday. The other one is returning stuff that they asked me to do, but it's not really, it's sort of like an interview, but not quite. They just want to see the quality of my work and what I have to bring to the table. Um, I've had um, an interview with a recruiter on the second one, but yeah. this, one on Friday, I've been working with them two weeks ago already. So I don't affect the one. I feel, I feel whatever this means, it's the third one. Okay. The third one. Um, maybe it's a third one to give you the offer, but it's the third one. And you're going to know what that means okay. better than anybody else. It's the third one. It's going to be the strongest one for you. And you're going to know it even in your gut, you're going to know it, okay? 
you're going to feel it and you're going to know that this is the right one for you. Okay? So you think I'll get an offer from all three and I just pick the third one? Is that what it is? Okay. I cannot say this another time. I'm going to, but I'm going to, it's the third one. Whatever that means for you, love, it's the third one. So I'm going to go to the next caller, 814, 814, how are you today? 814. Hi, this is Amy. Hi, Amy, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Pennsylvania as well. Okay, how can I help you today? Well... I have the same, basically the same question as the prior caller had. I am in the process of trying to switch to another job. And I had one interview back at the end of January. And then I have another one on March 3rd. Okay. Coming the, up. The March 3rd one feels much stronger to me. That feels like such a, a much, much better opportunity. I feel like it, you're going to go a lot further with it. During the interview process, make sure that you are um, not over answering questions. Uh, I know exactly what they're talking about where we start to get a little nervous and we start explaining and then we explain what we just, ex <laughs> just <laughs> oh my goodness, welcome to my world. Um, they're just saying, make sure you don't over explain the answers, make sure that you're, you're being to the point, but not giving too much of an answer. Even if they're asking like, why are you leaving your current place? Just say, well, I'm just looking for a much better opportunity. I know they're out there and this is, you know, and I, you know, want to work with your company or whatever it is, just short, good, basic answers. But d the biggest thing they're saying is don't over explain. Um, the other thing they're saying is this next interview is going to be a really good fit for you. And there's going to be one more after that, even though I feel like you're going to go with the next one. You are going to hear from one more person. I do feel like if you get this next one, the March 3rd one, you're going to take it because the pay is going to be fulfilling for you. Okay, love? Okay. Excellent. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, thank you so much. You are so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so grateful to everybody that called in, listened in, watched on YouTube Live. If you do want to watch on YouTube Live, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes, sometimes a little longer. And then I also am on Rude Rangers TV, WSCS, Roku, and a number of other stations. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have an absolutely amazing weekend.